What takes place after two weeks without sugar? What happens if you stop eating sugar for two weeks? Sugar is an integral part of our daily diet, and it's added to a variety of foods that we consume every day. However, excessive sugar consumption can lead to various health problems, including obesity, type 2 diabetes, and heart disease. Cutting down on sugar intake can be challenging, and it requires a lot of willpower and dedication. In this video, we'll explore what happens if you stop eating sugar for two weeks and the benefits that you can experience. Week 1, The First Few Days The first few days of cutting sugar out of your diet can be challenging, and you may experience withdrawal symptoms, such as headaches, fatigue, irritability, and cravings. This is because sugar consumption triggers the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter that activates the pleasure centers of the brain. As a result, when you stop eating sugar, your brain craves the dopamine rush, leading to withdrawal symptoms. However, as you continue to abstain from sugar, your body will start to adjust to the new diet, and the withdrawal symptoms will gradually subside. You may also start to notice some positive changes, such as improved energy levels, better sleep, and clearer skin. This is because sugar consumption can disrupt the body's natural circadian rhythm, leading to sleep disturbances, and also cause inflammation, which can affect the skin's health. Sugar is a ubiquitous part of the modern diet, and it's easy to see why. It's sweet, delicious, and readily available. However, excessive consumption of sugar is linked to a host of health problems, including obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and more. That's why many people are turning to low-sugar or sugar-free diets to improve their health and well-being. Cutting sugar out of your diet can be a challenging experience, especially in the first few days. You may experience withdrawal symptoms, such as headaches, fatigue, irritability, and cravings. However, with determination, patience, and a few tips and tricks, you can successfully cut sugar out of your diet and reap the many health benefits that come with a low-sugar lifestyle. Why is sugar so addictive? Sugar is addictive for several reasons. For one, it stimulates the release of dopamine in the brain, which is a neurotransmitter that plays a role in pleasure and reward. When you eat sugar, your brain releases dopamine, which makes you feel good and reinforces the desire to eat more sugar. Another reason sugar is addictive is that it can cause a rapid spike and subsequent crash in blood sugar levels. When you eat sugar, your blood sugar levels spike, causing a burst of energy. However, this burst of energy is short-lived, and soon after, your blood sugar levels crash, leaving you feeling tired, irritable, and craving more sugar. The first few days of cutting sugar out of your diet. If you've decided to cut sugar out of your diet, the first few days can be the most challenging. As your body adjusts to the absence of sugar, you may experience withdrawal symptoms, such as headaches, fatigue, irritability, and cravings. These symptoms can be tough to deal with, but they are a sign that your body is adjusting to the changes you're making. Headaches. One of the most common withdrawal symptoms when cutting sugar out of your diet is headaches. This is because sugar affects the release of serotonin in the brain, which is a neurotransmitter that plays a role in regulating mood and preventing pain. When you stop eating sugar, your brain may struggle to produce enough serotonin, leading to headaches. To alleviate headaches, make sure you stay hydrated, get plenty of rest, and try taking a warm bath or using a heating pad on your neck and shoulders. You can also try drinking herbal teas or taking over-the-counter pain relievers, such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen. Fatigue Another common withdrawal symptom when cutting sugar out of your diet is fatigue. This is because sugar provides a quick burst of energy, but it's short-lived. When you stop eating sugar, your body may struggle to produce enough energy to keep you going throughout the day. To combat fatigue, make sure you get plenty of rest and try to stay active throughout the day. Regular exercise can help boost your energy levels, and getting outside and getting some fresh air can also help you feel more alert. Irritability 
Irritability is another common withdrawal symptom when cutting sugar out of your diet. This is because sugar affects the release of cortisol in the brain, which is a hormone that plays a role in regulating stress and mood. When you stop eating sugar, your brain may struggle to produce enough cortisol, leading to irritability. To combat irritability, try to manage your stress levels. Practice relaxation techniques such as deep breathing or meditation and make sure you get plenty of rest. You can also try talking to a friend or loved one about your feelings, as sharing your emotions can help you feel better. Cravings Perhaps the most challenging withdrawal symptom when cutting sugar out of your diet is cravings. This is because sugar is addictive, and your body may crave it even when you. Week 2, Improved Mood and Better Health Improved Mood and Better Health the benefits of cutting sugar out of your diet. Cutting sugar out of your diet can be a challenging experience, but it's one that can offer significant benefits for your health and well being. From improving your mood to reducing your risk of chronic diseases, cutting sugar out of your diet is a powerful tool for improving your overall health. As you enter the second week of your sugar free journey, you may start to notice a significant improvement in your mood and overall health. Here are some of the benefits that you can experience. Weight loss, excessive sugar consumption is one of the leading causes of obesity, and cutting down on sugar intake can help you lose weight. According to a study published in the journal Obesity, reducing sugar intake can lead to significant weight loss, particularly in individuals who are overweight or obese. Lower risk of type 2 diabetes, sugar consumption is also linked to an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. According to a study published in the journal Diabetologia, reducing sugar intake can lower the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Better heart health, high sugar consumption can also increase the risk of heart disease. According to a study published in the journal JAMA Internal Medicine, Reducing sugar intake can lower the risk of heart disease. Improved mood, sugar consumption can lead to mood swings, anxiety, and depression. According to a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, reducing sugar intake can lead to a significant improvement in mood. Improved cognitive function, sugar consumption can also affect cognitive function and memory. According to a study published in the journal Physiology and Behavior, reducing sugar intake can lead to improved cognitive function. Better dental health, sugar consumption is also linked to dental problems such as cavities.